Night number two for the inaugural KKM Give Back Classic starts in about 10 minutes with the pit meeting. Then we go out for engine warmups. What's up YouTube and welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you're all having a great day today. Night number two of the Give Back Classic. Last night we got to go out and make a lot of solid laps out there. I think we did about 14 in total, two sessions. We tried to go out a few more times, but we just, uh, I think my elbow knocked the fuel line uh, got disconnected so we didn't have any fuel going to the engine so that burned through a session and then we tried some other stuff and I think I knocked it off again which burned through another session. Millbridge Speedway is always an exciting track you're either ripping the boards last night we saw some people run the middle and that seemed to be pretty fast and then also rolling the bottom and three good lines I think we're gonna have for this race. One of the most famous things about Millbridge Speedway is the food here they have this thing called the walking taco and to start off the vlog I wanted to show it to you as well as turns one and two. All right, we're here at the Millbridge Speedway. You guys can show them the racetrack. And we're starting off today's vlog with the walking taco. Here at Millbridge, these things are famous. I think every racetrack should have them. So it's Doritos, Dorito bag, and inside, it's just like a taco. It's awesome. Let's go around back. It's kind of loud back here. But I wanted to show show them my wing made it on the, on the, the big... Flip here at Millbridge and mine made it up there with all the other ones. So here's a look at turns one and two. Millbridge Speedway, last night it got right up on the fence. There's still a little, like, since so many people ran on it, if you come get a closer look, since so many people ran on it, it, like the cushion wasn't on the wall, but it was up there. It just like, they do so many, so many little marbles, it kind of created like a little six inches six inches maybe uh, between. So what I was talking about is our right rear got to about right here, everyone that was running, and then it threw all these marbles so we couldn't use the full potential of the top side of the racetrack. Your right rear could only get about to here, and then it just really wouldn't work. Jeremy Burnett, he's coming out on the racetrack, we're gonna be doing some, or he's gonna be doing some track prep, and we'll see really what he does. He kinda just packed it in, and I think tonight will probably get a little slicker than usual. It is time to get into today's video. We have five minutes until the pit meeting, and then engine warmups after that. I'm down here with two racers at the Millbridge Speedway and they're fans of the vlogs. Buddy, what's your name? Carter. Carter. What's yours? Jackson. Jackson. What division are you in? Beginner. Beginner box. He's in beginner. And beginner. Box. Oh, so you guys... Drivers meeting in five minutes. Drivers meeting in five minutes. We all got to be there. So tonight is, uh, is your guys' big, big night. So these guys do everything. All the open class does is practice and then do the open A main event and all that tomorrow. We qualify and practice tonight, so good luck. Go get them, guys. Thank you. session night number two of the KKM get back classic the, all the opens we get to go out once then we have a big long break we're gonna get to do get some heat in our engines before we head out for qualifying I think qualifying will probably be around 10 or 11 o'clock tonight after all the lower classes go out the tracks already starting to get slick we just watched some of the box stocks Kennedy Ellis she just was out there on the racetrack Kennedy talk about what, what it's like out there it's it's actually pretty good like this is one of the best tracks we've had so far Usually no good in like qualifying, but it's pretty good. Yeah. It's taking rubber though. All right, guys, it is Kennedy's birthday, so maybe later on the vlog we'll have to sing happy birthday to her. Uh, talk about how you did in qualifying. Second. She was second quick. She was P1, P1. for a while until the, the last session went out. And how does it feel to be the first loser or something? I guess it has to I mean, it's not bad though because I've never been like top five, so like I'm pretty happy with it. Uh -huh. But we were also a hundredth of a second. Difference. Awesome. All right, guys. Kennedy Ellis should be going out. What, you have heat races or just same Yeah, heat races. Heat races coming up, and then uh, we'll be heading out for our first session of open practice.
with open practice here at the Millbridge Speedway. We ended up getting two sessions. I only thought we were gonna get one. First time out, we were all right. Actually, both sessions. We just were kind of mid-pack. I think 21st and 23rd. We did make some solid laps. I felt a little bit better, but I just, I was going about 90%. A few times out there, I would really try to run up by the wall, but three and four is like a, a parking curb almost. It's weird. It's not even really a good cushion to run on. So I think in qualifying, we're gonna be running the top in one and two because it's not too hard to run. You can drive in there wide open, and like I said, it's, it's not hard at all. Pretty much everyone's gonna be able to run the top down there. And then three and four, a select few, I bet, will try to run it in the middle or the bottom is gonna be the best option down there. They're doing some track prep right here before qualifying, but what I wanted to show you is kind of more of a, a parking curb. Uh, a parking curb, kind of. They're doing some track prep. I'm not sure really how this is gonna affect what it's gonna do, but entry of one, or entry of one and two is good, and you can really do whatever you need. Uh, it's not too hard to run down there, but three and four, I mean, it's hard just to run on this. Like, you can't really, it's not fast, unless you just sail it in there and hope for the best, which someone like Jesse Caldwell might do, but I don't really want to junk it. But when qualifying happens, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to. So, I think they're gonna try to prep this a little bit and see what it does. Logan CV ran his KK and midget out here, and it kind of helped a little bit, just getting it a little more on the wall and getting rid of it, but look at how high that is. You just, you can't run up there. I did video, I did video some of Logan's uh, midget run out here. Here it is. front and back straight away it made me a little nervous I thought he might wad it up but he was totally in control the whole time uh, they're kind of trying to roll on the top side down here and I think it's gonna help a ton uh, and it's starting to slick off on the bottom so that's I'm, I still haven't decided really what I want to do down here on the bottom or the top because the bottom has been pretty good so I'll probably catch a quick word with you guys before we head out for open qualifying we're watching the first half of qualifying. I'm in flight B, this is flight A. I think we have 67 or 68 total cars at the KKM, so a ton of cars. And I just don't know if it's worth sending it on the top side right now. The bottom is really fast. Quick time is on the bottom. Second quick is on the top, but I'm telling you, if you roll that bottom, it's really fast. I'm gonna watch these guys and then we're gonna help go and get in. The top is actually, it's not bad in one and two, three and four is very rough. We're getting ready to head out flight B. I'm looking at race monitor. The time to beat is a 10.344. Caden Quapple, probably, I don't know, maybe ripping the fence, I can't see from here, but the top's really fast, and the bottom's kind of still there. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking bottom three and four, top one and two. I might change my mind. Otherwise, I guess we just gotta, we just gotta rip the lip and hope, and hope it sticks, so we're heading out.
loaded up the whole trailer, qualifying ended, and we just packed right up. We still have one more night ahead of us for night number three of the KKM Give Back Classic. There's a concert going on right now, and so we want to just get, because I think we're either going to head back to the shop or we're going to head up to the concert. There's a bunch of food, but it is freezing. I need to go get a jacket on. I ended up going 12th quick in Flight B, so not bad. I'm not the greatest qualifier. I just wasn't able to really get one great lap in. We had an issue on both. I mean, my first lap was actually really, really good. We just bogged a little on entry to one, and then the second lap, I just kind of messed up in three and four. It was very rough. I did want to show you guys the track, though. Just a second, I was out, just a second ago, I was out there, and I got to go through one and two and three and four, and I wanted to show you all the different things, like the cushion, the bottom, and where it was really fast on the racetrack. Here it is. It feels just like iRacing. Colby Horn goes quick time in flight B with a 10.265. It feels just like iRacing because I play with Colby a lot on there and he's really fast in the sprint car. So usually he's up towards the top of the board, set down an absolute ripper of a lap. I mean, wow, that's all I can say about that one. That's flying. Sorry the music in the background. I hope I don't get copyrighted for this. But I wanted to show you guys the racetrack. The top down here, absolutely phenomenal. I mean, Jeremy Burnett killed it in one and two. Look at this, just right on the wall. Just a little cushion, definitely way better than last night. The entrance to one is also very good. There's a little rough patch right here, but your tire just goes right through it. It's not even really like a rut. I was really good in one and two, both laps. I only had one issue down here, and on the first time, the first lap, I bogged a little on entry. I'm not sure what it was. We're still kind of in investigating that issue. And I got through it, the corner really well. It's not too hard to run actually because this, this helps you a lot. You lean right on it and as you get towards the center, it gets a little bit closer to the wall. But down here, it's not rough or anything. So majority, everyone ran it very well. It's not too hard down here. Now turn three and four was much different than one and two. It's not smooth down here. You can't just throw, drive it in there wide open and get through it. I wouldn't say relatively easy, but as long as you put your right rear in the right spot, you can get through one and two. Three and four, you like hold your breath, close your eyes, and hope you get through the corner. It's not necessarily super rough, it's this. It's not just like a little bit built up. It's not like our right rear can go right here and this is all this like dirt marbles is gone. It's just all the way up, so you can't really put your right rear on it. It's like a, it's like a curb almost, like a parking curb, but it's not like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You can see just so many people ran over here in the center. They just threw so much dirt right in here. The TRD sign's getting covered. Now entry is much better. It's not so built up over here. But one thing about Millbridge, and I bet this is like this for most people that run here, when you're running the top, it feels like you're much closer to the wall. Like I was watching my GoPro from last night and I was watching the footage from the vlog. And I'm like, my right rear is right on the fence. I'm like, really maybe one lap, I got really close. My right front oh, kind of got close to the fence, but I over exaggerated it. So I think qualifying was probably similar. I wish these guys could turn off the music for the vlog, but it, it's just tough. I think I hit right in this area on my second lap and I just, it killed it. But the bottom was also good down here. Earlier in flight A, a lot of people made the bottom work. I think quick time was actually down here. So it slicked off, a little moisture came back as the night uh, got went in later. Just that's how it is on the East Coast and in North Carolina, you get a little moisture, which is nice. We don't see that on the West Coast. So it wasn't too bad. Excited for tomorrow. So 12th quick in flight B, we made the invert. So I think we're gonna start front row outside of our heat race and two, two are gonna transfer from that. So it's almost like a little Red Bluff style format, two transfer out of the heat races, but that's that's gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. Before we go, one thing I wanna, I'm gonna play a few clips of what it's like to run turns three and four where it's rough down here. I put a camera behind that Speed 51 sign towards the exit of the corner, right there. I put a, I put a GoPro, and I think I maybe caught a few people just sending it in there. No one flipped, I'm not sure. I have to rewatch, but I definitely got some good clips of people ripping the fence.
that is going to end this video. Day number three is tomorrow, and someone is going to go home winner of the KKM Give Back Classic and going to be racing in the 2019 Chili Bowl Nationals in a KKM midget. It's going to be exciting. You're going to want to stay tuned for the vlogs. I'll see you guys all then, and until tomorrow, Millbridge Speedway. Deuces.